Is this... Hold on. This kind of reminds me... Look at that throw. This area reminds me of one of the first rooms in the Wind Temple in Wind Waker. I don't think it is, but I, I hope that I'm not the only one... Are you dying? What happened to you? Oh. You know, this thing kind of turns like crap, but it's... It's kind of fast. A little bit. It also doesn't look like... Wait, is the wheel not even on the ground? Hold on. <laughs> hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda. Not Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. This is going to be a little bit of a weird episode. I have some backtracking I want to do. There are some shrines we missed, and there is the Tabantha Bridge Stable quest that is an incomplete. And... I mainly want to do this recording session just to stall for time. Just to give you all a chance to tell me anything that you want me to... You want me to know going into here. I don't know why I hesitated on that. Anything you want me to know going in to Southern Hyrule. I know that there is a, a dragon. I forget their name. The dragon in Lake Hylia. But that's about, that's about it. And there's a great fairy, which we're going to have to encounter. So, it all starts with the gorge, then the stable, then the shrines, and fixing this bike. It's definitely a marked improvement, and I have no idea what's in this gorge. I would imagine that there are gonna be some Korok seeds. I know there are no shrines. Uh, <laughs> the entire series, you all have been telling me, it looks like I this bike has a slight list, that's fine. This entire series, you guys have been telling me to pay attention to the light roots because they correspond to the shrines on the surface, and I'll be honest, I haven't really done that, but uh, honestly, I'm kind of surprised. Wow. Well, we haven't really had any trouble. I I've been pretty thorough, all things considered. Hello, bunny. I see what you'd like, and I would like your money. But you gotta pay me something better than that. What is that, like seven rupees? Nine rupees? Okay. Hello. Um, I guess I, I can spare a couple bombs. Alright. Hit me. Come on. I forget, do I need to recall this? I don't remember. Or if he, does he just show his ball on his own? Oh, there we go. That'll do it. The Tunagar Canyon East Cave, which again, I know doesn't contain any shrine, but a bubble frog would be nice. It's a good shield. That's a really- is that the best shield we've seen so far? Strangely enough, I'm going to drop the icy meat shield because I- I have a lot of meat now. That's not a problem anymore. Oh? Oh, a Stalnox. Okay. I'm prepared to fight a Stalnox, I think. Uh... Huh. Yeah, this is definitely a Stalnox. And of course he won't wake up until I- I break him loose. I don't- I don't have time for your- Ooh. Uh... Huh. Yes. I agree, Link. Come on. Do I just need to uncover his eye? I do. Leave, 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 leave. Oh, I can kind of shoot him. Watch this. Watch this. Hi, buddy. You look kind of weird. Bloop. <laughs> also, I don't know why I said, am I prepared to fight a Stalnox as though I needed this gear for it. I think I was the Gig Talus in my mind, in a weird corner of my mind. Oh, this is awkward. Spin tech. Go. I want to one cycle this man. Mm, that's not the way to do it. Whoa. That was close. I forgot they live. That was so close. Die. And. Got him. <laughs> that, was a, that was a fun fight to start off a recording session. Got the rust off. With some nice weapons and nothing else, no, no frog. I feel like this area should have a frog. 
Also, it's amazing that I'm passing up on a Royal Halberd. I love Royal Halberds. I really like the, the reach weapons in this game. They're kind of my jam. I just keep defaulting to them. I mean, I know... I know that they were... That's where I came in. Ah! Stars above. Stars above. Ace Ventura strikes again. I knew it. They wouldn't just put a, a thing in here, a, a Stalnox for no reason. That's That would be a Breath of the Wild maneuver, you see. A Tears of the Kingdom maneuver is rewarding us after the boss fight. I don't hear a bubble frog. It looks like we have more mining to do. Um. Okay. These are some wacky looking ruins and it's, this is, this is a fork in, yeah, this is a fork in the path. Okay. Here we go. Bubble frog. I can make that shot. Never mind. Uh, you know what? Before he, before he does his malarkey. Got him. Got him. It's rare that I use a plane, but I just didn't have the patience to go look for a wing. And this, yeah, this is a fork. These are different destinations. So there's one more, one more wing of this cave. I'm not sure if I can show that on YouTube, guys. Uh, can I kill two with one arrow? Oh, yeah! That works! That was awesome! I didn't know that was possible. Ooh. A truffle. And a chest to go along with the How many truffles do we have? 19? We're almost to the point where they're. I'm going to start using them. It's cool that I have that hindsight to, to know that I need to save them. Or foresight, rather. Okay. How many of those do we have? 12? Wow. I, I need to start using some some more firepower, I think. One of the difficult parts about this game is that the draw distance is so short that you can't you can't always discover you can't rely on your eyes to help you discover things. Like I can't get up on top of a cliff face or in the air and and go on like a scouting mission or use my peepers. Uh that That is something. What is that? Hopefully my bike doesn't despawn. Is it? Oh, it's just a Korok. Okay. All right. Yeah, all too often stuff only spawns when you're right on top of it. In fact, uh, did I mark this? I noticed this in between recording session, or well, in post, actually. This gate, for just a split second, if I remember to edit it in, I will show you. For just a split second, there is a person at the bottom of the screen over here, and I never talk to them. They're probably just Yiga, but... That doesn't mean that I don't want to talk to them. Man, that's pretty. Another thing I haven't really discussed, mainly because I've been waiting to go to Nekluda, because that's really going to prove my point. But with nothing else going on, and I might cut this out anyway, I'll talk about this now. The shading and, and lighting of Tears of the Kingdom compared to Breath of the Wild is... Uh, it, it could not... They could not be further apart. The two are so different. This game constantly, constantly looks beautiful. And while there is fog denoting, you know, draw distance, there isn't... Hold on. Is that a bloopy? It is. Uh, yeah, let's grab that first. Denoting draw distance, it's it's like a good color. Where It's a far... Get on! It's a far cry from the urine steam, the pee steam that was Breath of the Wild's fog. And I frequently color had to color correct episodes. Okay, where are you going? I actually don't see. Okay. Give me your money. Mm, a little bit more. Yeah. It may not look like much, but those rupees will add up. Believe you me. You know, oh, 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 hold on. I wasn't startled this time. I know to adapt. No! No, you don't. No, you don't. I need you. Go! Perfect. It's such a good reward. Look at all the eyeballs and the wings. I'm exchanging one elemental wing for 
a bunch of eyeballs, and I honestly really like the eyeballs. They make they make making trick shots so much easier. Like you can just shoot around corners, around the bubble frogs, uh, from behind cover. It's just something that, yeah, good accuracy does, you know, make them a little bit worse. But I don't personally, ca I don't really think that's what they're for, helping you aim. Are we going to deal with Gibdos in here? No. Stone Talus, though. Get out of here. Oh, there it is. I was completely blind. What's in here? I'm, I'm starting to get some Gerudo vibes. We might be encountering Gibdos. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Go. And let's get something else. Let's grab that. Okay, bombs won't clear won't clear this obstacle. This is... I don't know. I'm getting a different vibe here. This seems like um, a Misko's treasure type cave. Got the bubble frog. We have another wall. Another two walls, in fact. Oh. Huh. This... This is a cave. This is gonna be an episode. I can already feel it. I... I kind of expected the backtracking to take one episode, maybe two bloated ones if the shrines took me a while, but... This... Ooh. I don't think I have any fairies right now, so I definitely need to get all of these. Quickly. Come on. Okay, he's dead. Now he's just gonna have a chest, or a... Oh, a feathered spear. Okay, I guess I needed that. Will you break rock if I throw you? Nope. Finally broke through. Whoa! Oh! Wow, I would have looked for that forever. Also, that's really cool that <laughs> this entire time I'm not expecting a shrine, and lo and behold, this leads to a shrine. Cool, that ma that really makes this feel a lot more important. Okay, before I... Uh, I guess I still need to explore this. So yeah, let's do the shrine. That'll, that, it'll shake things up a little bit. One of the two shrines I would like to complete this short recording session, the... Ion Orok Shrine in the Tabantha front. Oh, it's a Tabantha Shrine, technically. That's neat. I don't often do this in Tears of the Kingdom recording sessions just because I generally would like to stay sharp. But in a, a short recording session like this, uh, I am making. I'm taking advantage of. Hold on. I'm taking advantage of some, a trick I picked up in the. The Pikmin 3 Let's Play, or 4 Let's Play, sorry. Um, and it's having a having a drink to accompany me, accompany me. It's my commentary buddy. So this is technically a co-commentated episode. It is the serious pal that would like to critique game design and is an aspiring game designer and an actual game designer, if pirate software is to be believed. Uh, and then the goon, which is honestly half of me when I am completely sober. I mean, I'm I'm not actually drinking a lot, but my comment Ooh, hold on. Does this work? I don't know if this works. This should work, right? Yeah, 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 yeah! So my drink of choice this recording session is just a simple spiked root beer float, root beer, vanilla ice cream, a tiny bit of clove on the top, uh, and Smurmoff vanilla vodka. And it is 
insanely refreshing. It's honestly the only reason why I have sugar, or the only excuse I find to, to have sugar is in alcohol, and I guess some caffeinated drinks whenever I go to, like, a coffee stand. What? Huh. Okay, I've played Super Monkey Ball. I think we, what we need to do is link these together. I also just saw the the chest, so I'll grab that. I think I can use these as the weirdest ramp in the world. That should work, right? Yeah. Well, it'll work with a little help from my good old friend. Ooh. The wing shield. It's amazing what just a slight increase in jump height can can do. What it can enable. Let's see. I've played Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball is such an underrated series, and it's weird. Has any have any of you played Super Monkey Ball in recent times? Because they still come out with games, so they're obviously like somewhat su still successful. But since they changed the art style, I just haven't been super into it. That works, right? Oh, whoa, whoa. hold on. I don't want to set that entire thing up again. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, I'm what I would like to call a, um, <clears throat> an Epicurean of the Google variety. And that is to say, I get an idea for something, in this case it was Root Beer Floats, and then I go to a store with zero plan, and I just pull up Alcoholic Root Beer Float, and I just buy whatever the top result is. <laughs> it's a refined methodology to find new flavors and new, uh, new drinks.